So this is an amazing tool if you're doing a presentation. This tool is called Page on the AI, and this AI power platform lets you create a great looking presentation. And not only that, it will actually do the research for you. We'll gather some data from the internet and we'll and we'll design a professional looking presentation in just minutes. And the design looks amazing. Sometimes you'll see some interactive elements can be inserted into the slide. And I think that's way, way better than just a static element on regular presentation. But of course, you are still in total control. You can talk to AI about the thing that you want to add. You can also add some elements using a nice block design. So you can drag and drop element to design the presentation. But in theory, it is possible to just create a presentation by just prompting. So later, I'm going to try to compare page on the AI with existing tools like GenSpark AI Slides and also Gamma.app because these two platforms do offer a presentation as well but page on is a bit different and i would say it's a lot easier to use compared to the other tools so if you want to use page on the ai you can navigate to the website url right here or you can check the link in the video description that allows you to get 30 days of pro version of page on for free there's no need to insert any credit credit card info and i think that's going to be very useful because the free plan is just not enough i think it's better to try using the pro version and see whether or not this tool is the right uh, platform for you now after you have created your account you can log in and you will see something that looks like this so there are multiple ways to create a presentation using page on the ai there is ai assistant this is basically where you can have a chat with ai discuss various things about the thing that you want to create on the presentation you can also use an existing document or provide a website url or you can also just write any topic here just a simple topic and then let ai do the design do the research everything so this is very very quick but let's try using ai assistant first and then later we are trying to create another presentation using this method this method and this method is kind of straightforward just providing the source or the url and you're good to go but let's try using this option ai assistant you're going to see something that looks like this. It is pretty much just a chatbot UI where you can send a message to the AI. So let's try uh, uh, let's try asking AI to create an outline for a presentation. I'll ask something like, I want to create a presentation about impact of smartphone battery to the environment. There you go. That's the topic that I want to create. Now I'm going to send the message to this AI and just wait until it finishes. It will create an outline for the presentation. So this is the result it's still creating. And there you go. Now you can always modify this content. You can use the drag and drop interface. It's quite easy to use. And you can also still go back to the chat and, you know, make it more elaborate or make it more concise. It's totally up to you. Just have a nice conversation with AI. I want to make it to be concise. So let's make it concise. Send and you will make the outline to be shorter than the previous one. So this is the result. Let's say I will continue with this and you have the option to adjust the number of pages or slides on the presentation anywhere between 5 to 20 i'll try using just eight pages and you can select the target audience it could be general audience students and to other uh, professionals in any industry it's totally up to you and you can select the team now the team here is a bit limited i would say compared to other platforms but they are not bad they're actually pretty good and quite useful let's try using celestial blue i will try using that and when you're ready click generate slides so this process could take quite a while uh, it's going to take maybe a few minutes to finish and you can actually see the process in real time so what you what it is doing right now it is doing the research it's reading tons of pages from the internet and then uh, let it will compile the information into your slide so uh, i think i don't want to force you to wait so i'm going to just skip forward when ai has finished creating the presentation all right so this is the result it was done in less than two minutes 
and you can see that there are eight different slots and even though they do appear to have different aspect ratio don't worry because they're using something called dynamic aspect ratio so when you're presenting the document it doesn't matter what screen size you're using it will adapt automatically so that's one thing that you don't have to worry about and i would say the design not exactly as pretty as the one from genspark and also from gamma.app so I would say the design from Gamma is especially much more colorful, a lot more variative compared to page on the AI. But that's okay if you're just creating a simple presentation or just trying to present some simple ideas without any, without too many design elements, then this is totally fine. But if you want to make your, if you want to modify the design, then you can access various settings right here. So there is an AI chat and you can open this it will open this section at the bottom of the screen or you can make it bigger so it appear on the left side of the screen let's say i want to add another element let's say i want to add visual example let's try clicking on that and it will create an element that is appropriate for that uh, for this slide that i'm using and opening right now and then later we can actually put that element by just dragging and dropping the element into the slide so this kind of assistive AI it's extremely useful it's going to speed up the whole process because AI will do the research and will do the design and you just, you just need to just uh, drag and drop the element into your slide so yeah uh, there you go and yeah it's not exactly great but it's actually much more useful than just simple text now you can actually make this to be bigger like you can drag and drop the element to the other side of the screen so it's going to look bigger now this is not looking great because uh, this element looks smaller for some reason yeah there should be a way to make it bigger but yeah i don't find anything here okay okay that's that's a lot better so i just changed the layout and this one looks way way better so yeah you have the ability to just drag and drop the element or maybe swap the position of the element i think that's actually quite compelling honestly i find it to be smooth and easy to use now another thing that you can do is other than uh, adding another element via ai is so you can add another block you can click here and then see all the features that you could add you can add video image text icon etc so let me just undo and there is also this uh this is basically element group so when you're creating a new slide let me scroll to the very bottom i want to add another sorry about that add another layout uh, let's try using oh i accidentally clicked on the ai edition but basically this tool is for creating another layout or you want to change the layout of, of the slide you can use this and there is also this image creation you can create images or you can search images from unsplash or bing and lastly this is a feature that lets you add various ai powered elements like whiteboard data graphic life map 3d graphic etc so let's try using a 3d element i want to add another slide here and i want to uh, i want to add a simple 3d element so let me just click this 3d graphic and now you can click here or you can actually just write something uh, fill the 3d block with Honestly, I have no idea what I want to add here. Maybe some decoration. Let's send a message. And just wait until it is creating the 3D object. Now, when I'm using this tool, a couple times it's throwing me error messages, but it is usually time out error message, which means there are so many people using the tool at the same time because this tool just went viral quite recently so sometimes you probably see the error message telling you that the server is overloaded etc so you have to wait a little bit more to get the result but that's totally okay well after quite a while it wasn't able to generate the 3d element you can see that this is completely empty and you'll see this kind of problem very very often so i hope they're going to fix this error in the future and you can actually see some elements in this presentation kind of missing it's not because my internet connection though it's because the ai just not able to create that element and i suppose because the server is being overloaded so i hope that's just a temporary problem and another thing that you can do here is that you can change the color you can select any color or randomize the color selection right here 
or you can also just cl click light mode or dark mode depending on the style of presentation that you want to use and another thing that you can do is of course you can share a document you can also present the document you can click on this button and there you go so you can start the presentation and i do recommend to enter full screen by pressing f11 on the keyboard and you can do the presentation as normal it is not quite as interactive as the one from gen spark ai but overall it looks pretty good it's quite useful and it's just fine for a presentation so uh, i would say from the scale from 1 to 10 i would say this page on ai is scoring around 6 to 7. i want to give it 7 score but because of the technical problem unfortunately i couldn't do much uh, using this ai tool so uh, that's essentially how you can use this ai tool and by the way i forgot to mention that if you want to create uh, a presentation using topic you can use you can just write a topic right here for example i want to create another presentation using the same prompt as i use on genspark and i can just write the prompt right here and send the message to the ai and it will start creating that presentation so yeah i hope this video gives you an insight about page on the ai and whether or not this tool is right for you or maybe you, you can just skip it and use something else like gamma.app or genspark ai and by the way the link is in the video description you can sign up using the link to get 30 days of free trial anyway if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.